Hi Virgo, this is a your romance or love vlog for May 2020. I'm using the Angel Romance deck by Diana Virtue and I'm also using the Enchanted Dream Tarot from Yasmin Westwood and also um, the Answer of the Angels by Diana, Diana Virtue. So if you are new, welcome to the channel and please subscribe and hit the bell. When you hit the bell, you get three options and you can choose the, if you would like to choose all, then you'll be notified. Um, if you choose private or none, then you won't get notified and you won't know when new videos are loaded up or when I go live. Um, also, you in, in the screen you can find a right round circle in the right hand corner and with an eye and if you click on that it will take you to my website and there you can uh, stay up to date with everything that's happening with new videos or new reviews or interviews and also the uh, this my other side of me the life coach um also do ha i also have a page and information on the life coach i've just started it i'm doing some more videos in the coming weeks and of course i'm still waiting for my new decks to arrive so and also uh, the more information uh, is below below the video if you would like to make a donation before I go live because you can't uh, do a donation uh, in the live session super chat or super sticker then uh, if you do it uh, before uh, as you know that I go Monday Wednesday and Friday state your question in the email as well and then uh, and your name then I will answer it in the video or in the live sessions uh, because some people cannot uh, use PayPal so this is just an other option outside the live sessions and all uh, donations are welcome as the donations go towards new uh, decks so let's get started with your reading my beautiful friends and thank you very much for my cyber angels um, that c keep on coming back and are loyal and uh, I really do appreciate it and uh, my gratitude I hope I show that by doing the readings every month and every week and remember it's a general reading so if it doesn't resonate with you then have a look at your rising sign or your moon sign okay so let's get started your first card is past life relationship you've known this person before you've known each other before okay this could be a past life um, but some people don't believe in past lives a past life don't forget is not from bef only before you came to this planet but also um, when you have uh, when you worked in the healthcare and you went into a totally different direction like technology that is an other life as well that's a past life it is a face of life I think that is what is meant with it as well at least I feel that way um, it might be um, uh, the uh, you've got the king of Pentacles and the king of Pentacles um, does m represent Taurus but don't exclude Virgo or Capricorn so it might have been a Taurus that you knew before Okay, so you might be with a Taurus and he might be your soulmate because you knew from a past life, literally and figuratively, or you've known each other before and you just got hooked up. Um, also, if you are somebody a little bit more mature and you've been married for 20, 35 years, let's say then you might have known each other when you were children in the kindergarten and you got married later in life so that should be a very stable loving relationship because this man uh, he does invest in everything with the meaning for durable and long term durability and long term it could also have been a Scorpio as the devil it also depicts Scorpio and um, 
we go into the second week, that's the first week, but because it's lying di uh, diagonally uh, like that, and it's close to this card, it could also be a Scorpio. There was unrequented love, perhaps that's why you uh, left each other, split up. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. It could be also the present relationship. So it, if you haven't got a relationship, it could have been your last relationship. Okay, now what I'm hearing is... Um, it sounds crazy, I know, but this is how it works. Um, and sometimes it's fortunate and other times it's unfortunately. Um, uh, what, what, what came up? Something came up. I forgot that. It's, that's how quick it goes. It comes and it goes so quickly. Unrequented love. You could be in a perfectly healthy uh, relationship. It could be your second relationship. And this might be the previous relationship or a relationship from a past life. And you found each other again. That is what uh, I was going to say. You might have found each other again in this life. And you were split up or separated in your last life. And that's why you are really uh, paying attention to detail. And uh, so it will not happen in this lifetime. Because death is not really a, separa a, de a literal death. It is a phase, an end of a phase and a new beginning. You're in a transformational period perhaps in your relationship. And you are re realizing that you do know each other from the past. And what you want to do is when this is the case, when this is the case, um, you don't want to separate from somebody because especially if it is uh, a Taurus, you set in, you invested like the King of Cups and they did for the duration of a long term. Now, so you can learn from this and that's why it is so nice to read the cards and be more aware of how a relationship can be. I do believe in reincarnation and I do believe that people do come, uh, usually you do meet up with somebody from the past or that you've known for years or before. Uh, because, yeah, the attraction is still there. Okay, although it says unrequented love, perhaps in your last relationship with this person, uh, it was unrequented and that's why you didn't pay attention and that's what you're learning, so that you do love this person and that you protect it for the long haul. Everything that you do touch if you're not uh, hooked up with the King of Pentacles or that you're not going to meet a King of Pentacles, it could be that whatever you touch will turn to positivity, will turn to gold. Because the King of Pentacles, um, he has the Midis touch. So it doesn't matter if it is an unrequented love, you can turn it round because you've learned from the past. That is the mess deeper message here. Forgive and learn. Yes. Forgive each other, yourself, and the other from the past what happened. Don't listen to any ghosts or voices in the head. Just learn. As you realize and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moments. Like I said, that's the deeper underlying message in this reading Virgo. And Virgo... The king is um, uh, uh, the queen of pentacles, so you do know how to nurture. You do. She's got the green fingers, so the green touch, so she can make anything grow and blossom. So if it is unrequented at this moment, uh, your relationship, then work at it. Work, learn and forgive, or forgive and learn. Keep the communication going. Get that excitement back. It might be requented because we're on top, living on top of each other at the moment. And some of us do not have big houses. So it can get very frustrating if you're in a lockdown. Your hard work is being recognized and will pay off. 
like if it was a general reading there will be a promotion there could be a better job offered but this is in a romance reading so I would interpret this um, your beautiful uh, uh, nurturing side of you like the uh, king and queen of pentacles are um, is being recognized so you can make this turn round don't have any doubts okay you can make it turn round everybody's got their ups and downs in general and in romance like I said you need the communi you need to get the communication going again let the playful child out again so have a heart to heart conversations make a romantic evening of it honestly discuss your feelings with each other we cannot mind read each other's feelings or minds bring the balance back give and take this is my give and take card you see all the hands well in a general reading the um, one that's fortunate will be giving and the one that's less fortunate will be receiving this could be a helping hand or a listening ear or even a gift perhaps this card is saying spoil your partner try to make it m uh, easier spoil by having a listening ear or getting a little present or do this romantic dinner or try to go and walk with the dog or without the dog um, if you are allowed outside now we've also got the page of pentacles okay the page of pentacles uh, and the pa sorry the page of cups we've got the page of cups so the first house is king is cancer the second house is scorpio that's the queen and the third house that is pisces and um that is the page of cups so it could even be a water sign you've got scorpio here so this is pisces but like i said don't exclude the two other signs so water is quite prominent here okay underneath this card you've got the ten of wands so there is a face closing look at that a transformation a new beautiful face is coming in and again to fortify and confirm another card in this reading is forgiveness forgive and learn so it's twice that it's being said the angels definitely know how to make a message clear learn from the past learn from past uh, uh, past tension in this life also learn from previous lives I think you might have known each other and you intuitively know this so learn forgive and learn and make it sweet and make it enticing then the passion will grow again remember it's always ups and downs and if you can surpass this then you've got a beautiful long-term relationship don't make mountains out of molehills okay that's like that tower moment in the Lenormon. okay I hope you've enjoyed this reading and like I said if it doesn't resonate with you then please have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign take care be safe and please share and like this video and I hope to meet you or see you again in the live sessions tonight I will be going live and that will be in about 8.30 usually or 9 o'clock between 8.30 and 9.30 European time take care and be blessed